Hello everybody and welcome back to Crusader Kings where I was just looking at what we needed to end the Iberian struggle and actually this is up to 11 out of 14 now so our vassals must be doing some conversion on their own that's great we only need three additional counties converted so that's really really good we are above our vassal limit and we do need to deal with that we're only going to do one duchy at a time here we'll make Mallorca first it doesn't really matter which one we do, but this will be absolutely fine. So we're going to toss out over the Duchy of Mallorca here, and that will, of course, solve that vassal limit issue. No problem whatsoever there. And what is this faction? Is this real? Maybe. We'll have to wait and see. But I'm guessing no. It's kind of close. But no, it's not real fantastic so that is of course excellent we have a bunch of upgrades that we need to do that's for sure we can extort our subjects this is going to boost up our stress levels by a pretty good amount but we do have some options here so where are our loyal subjects and in order to avoid the mental break we're going to pet our cat fantastic we're also going to indulge and in drink there we go and we're going to seclude ourselves perfect we could lash out as well. That would drop us down to stress level zero. I'm not sure we actually want that because we do get the benefit of 10% per stress level for our income, right? So we might not want to do that one. I do want to pop down over this way though and get our guild upgrading. And that's most of our money gone already. Okay, there we go. There's our money gone. Phenomenal. Don't worry, we'll have everyone pay. And now we've got money again. So we're going to spend that in Toledo for right now. I think upgrading our crown smithies does make a lot of sense. And then let's do militia camps in Madrid for right now. Cool. So that is all looking good. Let's get a hunting ground upgrade going now that we can. And this ransom is acceptable. Excellent. So we're going to have this conversion done when? Three years? That's not too bad. Respect might or lose your tongue. Absolutely. Getting cat lover would be absolutely great here. <laughs> Perfect. Might is the one who is truly in charge of this kingdom. I don't know if anyone knows this, but that, that is absolutely the fact here. Might is the one that is the real ruler. We are just the regent for might at this point. So we're going to upgrade our hillside grazing lands here perfect and i would like to get additional upgrades going as soon as we can hey pope how you doing on gold probably terribly actually he's close we'll need to wait for the month tick he gave some away okay there's the month tick we can ask him for gold do it magnificent we'll use this wealth wisely so we're going to hop over here. We are, in fact, going to use the wealth wisely. We're going to invest it into our realm. We're going to upgrade this guild. We're going to upgrade this barracks. We're going to come on over this way, upgrade our farms and fields, upgrade just various things in general. Hill farms are a good upgrade for sure. We can get a, guild, a hill farm here as well. This ransom is acceptable. And that'll do for now. So that got us a few constructions going anyway. This temple does need to get upgraded. Okay, it's not quite maxed out here yet, so probably better off to build the blacksmith districts here. And that is indeed exactly what we're going to do. Now, I don't want to continue to expand out over this way just yet, although we did discover at the end of last episode, all of this is converted over to Catholic already, which is remarkable. We are okay with this. And that does arguably mean that we can expand. We just joined the late medieval era. But I don't necessarily want to expand just yet. Let's see, we're earning knighthood right now. That's our exposure, and urbanization is our fascination. Okay, that's all fine. We don't need anything in the late medieval era just yet. So this marriage is being arranged and is kind of irrelevant, to be honest. Are we still truced with this guy? Actually, we're not. I'd like to get this cleaned up. We're not going to do major expansion, but this is just some border gore that I'd like to get cleaned up here. So we're going to get that done. No problem whatsoever. Drop a rally point here, and we're going to raise just our men at arms. I don't think we'll need any more than that. Yeah, no, we're not. That's going to be absolutely fine. Can we ransom anybody? 
The answer is yes, we can. I'm going to go in via our courtiers tab here. And we're just going to mass ransom anyone that we can. Cool. So we'll get some gold that way. And of course, this war will be over very shortly. Eventually. Maybe. There we go. War is over. So we're going to enforce those demands. And no, this is too expensive. And we'll disband all of our troops. We don't want to hold this ourselves. So we'll grant that on out. Does that give us a problem with our vassal limit? It does not. Okay, we got favor hooks for most of those, but that's fine. We're going to hop down over this way and check through what needs upgrades. This bishopric does, and that blacksmith is pretty expensive. We are getting into the expensive upgrades at this point. There's no doubt about that. And up here, we're not. So we've been definitely favoring upgrading the south portions. Uh, that's definitely a thing. We can sell trivial titles, and that's actually 1,500 gold that that nets us. I like it. We're going to get blacksmiths here and continue to push through. In Molina, we are constructing. We could certainly get a blacksmith upgrade here. We could get a barracks upgrade, and that's our gold gone. Just like that. This guy reduced his feudal taxes to us, but gave us 900 gold. So for the moment, I'm actually okay with that. I don't really care too much about the feudal taxes that we get. It's not that big of a deal. Most of our taxes come from holding. Well, we can see like half. It's half and half. So that's actually a pretty small downgrade for us. We are going to definitely dismiss this guy. Okay, get out of here. We don't want smallpox spreading around. So that's fine. This artifact is completely okay to take. Why not? Can we upgrade Bailiff's office? We don't have the windmills innovation in Andalusian culture. Okay, so we can't actually construct a Bailiff's office here. Arguably though, once, once we have that, we should maybe swap one of these things. Probably rampart walls over to water mills. Do it. That'll be fine. Andalusian culture being up over here is mildly awkward. And I guess that gives us a bit of a reason for not upgrading here as much. It's not what I was thinking, but it does actually kind of work. These being Andalusian is awkward for us, for sure. Aragonese as well. Yeah, I'm not sure what their innovations are. Also kind of awkward. Okay, noted. So that's fine. But it is certainly awkward for us that these are in this state, right? So we can't upgrade here because we're lacking the windmills innovation. So that is actually capped out for this county's tech level. But of course, we're going to want to convert that. We're promoting culture down here. I don't feel like that's actually necessary. Hmm. Well, this is Andalusian down this way. Okay. We're going to have to be a little bit more careful about that going forward. Definitely. We just aborted a task here. We can no longer... Okay, the tax collector must be investigated. Do it. Okay, so we can no longer continue with convert faith in county here. Presumably this got converted. Yes. Okay, so we want to find a location that is Basque, but not Catholic. That would be the idea here. I'm not sure such a thing exists, and it does not appear to. So we should probably be working in the same location that we're currently promoting culture, is the way that that probably should end up working. We're going to punch somebody and lose some stress. That's fine. And we unfortunately do go down below stress level one from that. We should probably put in a spy master here. That'll be this guy. There's 150 gold as gift. Done. We take it. We, of course, can also grab, say, cutting cornerstones here to cut down our construction cost by 5%. We'll definitely take that. And cattle pastures are going to be upgraded here. Sure, show me around. What do we got in this village? We're investigating the tax collector, remember. remember. Hmm. Development process decreases by 50 in Madrid. So development here is currently at 87 out of, I mean, the overall development is at 31. Development growth is at 87, though, and we'd end up losing 50. Hmm. Or we could just 
kill this guy. And I don't think that matters. Treason. Okay. So the control level would go up. Or we would gain 1,500 gold. The development process would drop by 75. And we would gain 136 stress because we're generous. The control level doesn't really help us, but it doesn't really harm us either. The other direction, the gold would have been good, but we do get a stewardship perk out of it. So that's something anyway. We'll grab professional workforce to build faster. There we go. So that's all looking good. Our counselor died after a botched treatment. That was our marshal, and we're going to put this guy in as our new marshal. So this bishopric here, we could definitely build an outpost, although windmills are a thing that exists, but we can't really change it because this is a temple holding. Like, we can't revoke it from this guy, right? So it's going to have to be what it is. Perhaps these were tombs for saints? I actually wouldn't mind going up a stress level here, but the people bought into our theory, so I guess we got some prestige out of it. I actually would have preferred the stress there, but it's okay. That is fine. We'll grab... Do we really want hill forts here? I'm thinking we can revoke the title here for free. This is a barony. And we could replace this hill fort at this point with a windmill. But it's not the county capital. But we could certainly replace that hill fort with hillside grazing lands or a blacksmith would probably be much better here. So we'll do that and then we'll need to grant that back out. Perfect. That'll do for now. Anything else that we're not constructing in? I mean, Madrid. Our friend died, giving us our stress level. Okay, perfect. That's absolutely what we wanted. I mean, our friend dying is not necessarily what we wanted. But the stress level going up is very, very good. I'm completely okay with that. Teach them the superiority of the Basque culture. Yes, the culture in Zaragoza could change to Basque. Ah, that's this up here. Yeah, 46% chance on that. We'll see. It's it's bigger odds that we lose popular opinion due to disrespecting their traditions. But they changed. Perfect. That's really, really good. That, of course, means that we can now upgrade this temple. Excellent. So we're going to need to get these counties up here changed over to Basque as well. Popular opinion here is not great, but... I'm just checking through these right now and making sure that they're all correct. And they appear to be. So that's good. We're going to need these five counties up here, though. Culture Or four counties. This one already is. These four counties culturally converted. So that is definitely something that we want to do. There's a scheme at court. No one is surprised about this in the slightest. We're going to upgrade this blacksmith. And that looks good. Over here in Molina, I would... We could definitely go for a vegetable field upgrade. That seems okay. Cool. So, do we want to expand at this point? It's certainly something we can do. We just inherited this county. This is actually a county we want to hold, but we don't have the domain limit for it. I would love to hold this county. While we have it, is there anything here we want to change? We've got hill forts on here right now. Windmills. We put in windmills. Okay, then we'll grant that out. Of course, we can't change buildings while we don't directly hold it. So that was necessary to change that over. Oh, okay. Might has brought us a scroll on this lady scheming against us. Very rude to think she was hiding such a thing. Also, Might is apparently our spy master and dead. That's very sad. Might has unfortunately died of old age. And with that... The realm has lost its ruler, and that is very, very unfortunate. We will miss you, Might, but, I mean, at least we're no longer the regent for Might, right? <laughs> that's that's definitely how this was working. We're going to take this 150 gold, for sure. And looking for additional upgrades here, we could certainly get an upgrade over here. I like it. An upgrade in multiple locations in this county as well. Simple earthworks, I don't really want to upgrade that. Hmm. We have a disputed heritage secret here. We could blackmail her to gain a hook. 
This is really awkward. So we blackmail her to gain a hook. And then we revoke her title using the hook. It's an act of tyranny, but that's okay. We revoke that title. Then we use this to get rid of the simple earthworks here. And we replace that with a water mill. Then we grant it out to someone else. Okay. We also just inherited a location and we need to figure out where that was. So 10 out of nine. Yes, we know that we have one too many. Where was it? Monzon. Okay, do we want to make any similar changes here? Probably, actually. Getting rid of the stockades here in favor of something like a windmill or water mill? Which would we prefer? Probably the windmill because that gives holding taxes as a percentage boost. Do it. Okay, then we're going to grant this out. Perfect. Now, this bishopric, we can definitely upgrade our forestry. And this city, what would we want to do? Well, we want to wait for gold. We don't want to wait for gold, but we're going to wait for gold. A secret has been exposed, and of course, we will imprison them for having a secret. Our culture has discovered knighthood, so do we want to change anything because of that? Let's see. High medieval era knighthood gives us knight effectiveness. Okay. Okay. We already have access to Armored Horsemen. Did we switch to that? Oh, and these pikemen are unstationed. They're supposed to be stationed in Madrid. Right. When that was granted out, they would have been unstationed. There we go. So that's fixed. We do have Armored Horsemen here. So we know that our next two men-at-arms regiments are going to be a unit of horsemen and a unit of Armored Footmen, almost certainly. We can think about upgrading our bowmen. They're stationed in Malagon right now, and if we were to upgrade that, we would end up upgrading it from Bowman to Crossbowman, but we don't have the tech for that, do we? Advanced Bowmaking. Okay, we don't have the tech right now. Urbanization, banking are being worked on. Cool. So that'll do for the time being. We're not going to upgrade those because we can't. We'll get back to that one. Hmm... We'll gain 34 stress. That's fine. We have a building slot here? Wow. Okay. I guess we'll put in militia camps. That works. So we do have two additional upgrades to be doing over here in general. We could get a blacksmith upgrade going. In this city, there's a number of upgrades we could do. This ransom is acceptable. Hmm. Starting a seduce scheme against our rival. So we like it when our rival is angry. We like it a lot. I'm going to start the scheme to avoid going up in the stress level with 102 stress. But we can also immediately just abandon the scheme. So that's fine. We'll do exactly that. Perfect. And as soon as we have the gold, we'll get an upgrade over here. We have a lot of constructions finishing. Hmm. We might gain a stewardship lifestyle perk. Holding taxes and control growth and development growth, that's all good. We'll give it a go. We'll see how that goes. So we're going to upgrade our blacksmith here. Perfect. There's a lot of upgrades that can be done up in, well, everywhere <laughs> at this moment. That's for sure. But we're certainly working on that. Do we import silk? Hmm... They're more likely to appreciate this if the area is stable and prosperous. If the area is in turmoil. And if the development level in the area is low. So this is the Countess in question. And that's not actually where the county is. So the county is out over here. I would consider this to be low development. So we'll put the technological centers front, or the technological marvels front and center. That all looks good. Hopefully they'll appreciate that. Found holy order? Sure. You have my permission to do this annually from now on. So they're going to get the annual charter fair for 10 years. That's great. Absolutely wonderful. Sure, showing Duchess Ava and her 125 gold. I like it. 
We also got a stewardship lifestyle perk, and we're going to take centralization to boost up the development growth in our capital. That'll be absolutely wonderful. Let's also grab water, water mills here. That'll be fine. So we get that upgraded. We've got a lot of structures not currently being constructed. It's a bit of an issue, but our income is heading upwards. 231 gold. I like it. So for now, I would definitely like to up upgrade these smithies. These are getting very expensive down over here, though. I feel like we really should be upgrading over this way. So this would end up... Okay, we can't actually upgrade this. That city is currently maxed out. Unless we manage... What do we got here? Okay, sure. Gains the trait reclusive. Whatever. I guess that's fine. As I was saying, this stuff up here is... A little awkward due to the culture, but it is generally cheaper for us to upgrade. So that's absolutely great. We should probably put in blacksmiths here. Wait, what, what was that marriage by strong hook? I don't know. It went away. That was very strange. I don't know exactly what that message was indicating. And I kind of want to know. We can't upgrade this city yet due to it being Aragonese. Sure, God can be more important than breakfast. After all, the Pope gives us a lot of money to say that. So what do we have for the Pope over here anyway? He's got 847. He's got 1,000 gold. He doesn't have enough to grant us any, which is sad. We'll grab Tax Man, but that doesn't actually help us right now. And we're about to finish promoting culture over here. I want to make sure that all of our personal counties are converted over. That's kind of the top priority at this point. I feel like we have broadly enough conversion in Andalusia. How are we looking at that? Still 11 of 14. Because this is Andalusian. Okay. Right. So, getting a cultural conversion on these three alone would do it. So we actually need cultural conversions down here at this point, not faith conversions. That's unfortunate. Okay, well, we could definitely get a hunting ground upgrading over here. No problem there. And what is this faction? A liberty faction, but they're too weak to send an ultimatum. This is actually peasant rabble. These guys are close, though. So we're about to finish promoting culture over here. We definitely need to continue to promote culture. That's for sure. Okay. So we need to be out over like this way. Promoting culture in these three locations will finish it for us. So that's wonderful. We'll get that done. And once we finish our faith conversion over here, that'll put us at 12. This will put us at 13. So that seems fine. No problem whatsoever there, really. We can ransom this person. We can also do some contract modifications, and... Loyalty is worth more than levies. Okay, so I think that we'll go for... This is our best friend. Yeah, we're going to raise taxes on our best friend. While we're at it, we may want to do that. No, we're not going to do that. We're just going to use a hook to go up to high feudal taxes. We abused our friendship with him, and that did get us 102 stress. But we'll do something about that. And then we've got this guy. We're not his rightful liege, but we're going to use our house head hook there. And that seems okay. That doesn't gain us a bunch of stress. So I want to hop into the decisions here. We can seclude ourselves. We're truly at peace. And we can lash out. And you! Don't think I don't see you. And we'll indulge in drink. We feel better already. Perfect. Fine print. Excellent. So this is all great. We definitely want to hop up over here and continue to do upgrades, right? Continuing upgrades is of utmost importance at this moment. Because this... This is truly how you achieve power in Crusader Kings, in my opinion. Just upgrade the crap out of your two duchies. And then you can do kind of whatever you want. Up until everyone hates you. Within your realm. Outside of your realm, it doesn't really matter if they hate you. But within your realm, you would prefer it if they don't. <laughs> That's for sure. We can extort our subjects, and that is going to bump us back up and gives us a mental break. Unfortunately, we do get high blood pressure, potentially, or our courtiers lose opinion. And that's okay. We'll have our courtiers lose opinion right now. 
and we end up getting... I don't want the control level the control level loss. We're going to get 900 gold here. It's definitely not as much as I would have liked to get, but it is, I guess, okay. We're going to build horizontal windmills here. And we're just lacking cash for this upgrade. Sure, we can synergize our friendship. That's fine. So copying chambers here, we're 22 gold away from. Yeah, we'll just do that. Looks excellent. And with that, it is time to put a cut in here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we are going to continue our upgrades here. We're probably... Hang on. We're at 9 out of 10 domain holdings. So we should do a title revocation. Like, in theory, this guy. He would actually just straight up accept that. We're going to gain a bunch of stress. Sure, we'll pay the royal court a visit. And... Arrest this skulking fiend. Okay. That all seems good. So this guy is just going to give us the title, and that's perfect. So we're at 10 of 10. As I said, though, time to put a cut in, and next episode, we're going to continue our upgrades and maybe think about doing a bit of expansion down into Africa. We just can't expand this way while we're in the Iberian struggle, which is sad. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings, and a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible, including ALS Gamer, Shadow Wolf, Andy McGar, Spartan News, Nick Smarty, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, Soccerman 12 UK, Togan and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the join button down below the video. And as always, I will see you all next time.